I hate to admit it, but it's just true because, you know, I always like to state the facts. Bethesda have a long track record of releasing shitty games at the start and supporting them for a long amount of time after and it becomes a really good game at the end of it. But years later, at the expense of everyone's trust. Yeah, which is a really bad business model. I'm sorry, which is why I've always stayed away from the company because I have a sense of control where I'm not going to just be suckered into this type of behavior and and this business management. It's just it's trash. It's terrible. Um, let's get the money first, and once we get the money, then we'll fix it after. No, that's disgusting. I think what happened was is they said in-game footage. So in the game, they have a CGI um, part in the game. So a cutscene in the game. So they've just taken this CGI cutscene from inside the game and showed it here. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be reacting to what I call the Xbox show crap case. Um, it was crap. I don't care what anyone says. The showcase was rubbish. Um, the PlayStation showcase was also rubbish. However, the Starfield Direct showcase the you know that that present presentation that was wicked so we're gonna go through that right now so hopefully you enjoy it um we're gonna we, we've we've got a list of games here um and i'll put it up on the screen as well but the uh, the first game we're gonna start with is fable so if we quickly jump into the fable video we can talk about what we think about fable um why i thought the trailer was trash um but yeah let's let's get into it so fable they showed no gameplay they show in-game footage which is rubbish total lies bs this is not in-game footage this is straight cgi maybe this bit but like they're doing all of this extra camera angle camera angle sorry and, and all this extra crap that's going on rubbish absolute rubbish um we've already seen a cgi gameplay or CGI reveal of this game already. We've seen this. And they've come out now and they've showed us another one with no gameplay. And this game looks completely different from when we first saw it, like years ago. So I don't know if there was it was in development hell and they completely scrapped the entire game and they started again and made like a whole new game out of it, which is why they still haven't showed any gameplay because they're still building it out because they had to start brand new. I don't know, but I don't like anything i saw in this like literally nothing like i thought it was even, it was even funny um again we, we got to see nothing of the game i don't care about in-game footage because it shows nothing it's basically just cgi um it's just so it's all nonsense what do you think dylan no i'm in agreement i'm in agreement i was i was hyped when i saw richard ayawade a little yep. confused when i saw him wearing glasses because in a world like <laughs> theirs where there's no real technology how have they got prescription lenses <laughs> uh but outside of them small nitpicking things good... i enjoy i enjoyed the trailer but same thing with you it wasn't anything really it was yep. it was in-game footage with the quotes in the air on that one like yeah. what is in-game footage oh what you saying it's like it's shot in engine it's like what, like this like, this right here gameplay. where it's... she was eating the, the sandwich and throwing it are we gonna see that in game is that basically what they're saying is that something right. that we can do? Can we sit and eat sandwiches, or is this all a cutscene? Are we are we only seeing footage from all the cutscenes within the game? Like that's and that's boring, man. I don't I don't want that. When yeah. like when PlayStation let us down with their showcase, this was yeah. time for Xbox to step up and really show what brought them to the dance and what they've got to bring for the future. Like, yeah. but all this has done is made me go. Well, I definitely still don't want an Xbox. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you know what, yeah, Fable, fe like, they started with this, and in my eyes, it was a total failure. Opened with it, and it just fell flat. Yeah, yeah, and it was like, oh, is this what we're going to, you know, do? are we expecting this now going forward for the entire showcase? And we pretty much did. They yep. showed so many multi-plats, crazy amount of multi the same amount of multi-plats, I think they showed about nine multi-plats that are coming to PlayStation, and if you remember, right, and I'll put this up on the screen, when Sony had their showcase, Microsoft done a little jab at them, yeah, jab at Sony, and they posted also coming to Xbox, and it was pretty much the exact same number of games that are yeah. also coming to PlayStation for this showcase. You know, so it's like, uh, hypocrite kind of, yeah, probably. 
Um, but yeah, let's let, let's move on to the next one. We don't want it to be too long. So the next one is Star Wars Outlaws. Outlaws. I don't care about Star Wars. I never have, and I probably never will. However, Dylan likes Star Wars, so Love Dylan that. will take it over because we saw no gameplay of this again. But Dylan's going to talk more on this, so Yo, take it away. Again, no gameplay, CGI-based trailer. <laughs> um, in-game in footage, because remember, Microsoft I'm said they not, weren't going to show I'm any not, CGI. I'm not giving it the whole in-game I don't give a fuck, bro. You could put in-game footage <laughs> over a block of cheese. They showed us CGI <laughs> trailers, fam. It, yep. I don't care. They can say in-game all they want. Yeah. What yep. are they, like? What is that? That's basically saying that it's what possibly the trailer was made using the rendering engine, or I know what I know what that is. I what know what it? happened. I think, I think, so what we're looking at right now, yeah, I think what happened was, is they said in-game footage. So, in the game, they have a CGI um, part in the game. So, a cutscene in the game. So, they've just taken this CGI cutscene from inside the game and showed it here. And that's something, if that is the case, then that's just, it's not... It is. It's sleazy. That's it's sleazy you scammy marketing. CGI trailer and just take your backlash. Because you've yeah. just, all you've shown us is CGI. Yep. No actual gameplay here. There's nothing that makes me go, this game plays well. This I'm just like, wow, it is interesting. Like, I know I'm wrong. <laughs> Love Star Wars. I think this looks incredible. Like, the trailer is great as a trailer. But yep. don't lie to me. Don't give me in-game footage. Like, as if yep. I'm going to be able to play and it's going to look this good. Yeah. Because it ain't, exactly. no matter what, I don't care. Technology ain't there yet. Yep. Or this, or at least some of these games where you can go, nah, this is going to be how it looks. Like this mm -hmm. sequence that we're seeing now on screen, right? Where her, where she's sort of meeting her sort of co-characters and the other yep. leads of the game. You know, they're not, it's not going to look like that when we're running around the, the spaceship or the ports or wherever the game it is. because it's running on the most powerful console. It's not going to fucking look like that, bro. <laughs> it's not. Let's just be honest yeah. with ourselves. It's not going to look like yeah. this. The difference between what we're seeing here from the cutscenes and what we will see when we see the play is going to be totally different. And that's yep. why I'm very eager tonight to watch the Ubisoft showcase where they've announced that they're going to be showing the actual gameplay of this game. Yep. And then and I'm we happy will be to streaming do that. another video and do a comparison and see what yep. the gameplay over this trailer says. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that pretty much segues in to the next video, which is Payday 3, which was, uh, that was a perfect segue right there. Yeah. So, yeah we Payday 3. Got gameplay. I tried to play Payday 2 with Dylan. I hated it. I thought the game was boring. It was uninspiring. I don't know what it is. I think because it felt so clunky and janky, I think that's probably why I didn't like it. And that's why I don't like any of Bethesda games, to, to be fair, because they all feel clunky and janky. Um, it's so, not a Bethesda game though, is it? No, but this it's the same reason why I don't like Payday 2. It's the same reason why I don't like Bethesda games, because they feel the same. They feel very clunky. Now, I'll give you that with a Payday 2. Um, the only way they can make this Payday 3 better, which, look, looking at the trailer, it looks a lot of fun. Yeah. I think I did have a lot of fun when we played Payday 2. But to be honest, Payday 2 was overcomplicated. The way you get yeah. in and out of game modes and the way you get in and out of... Yeah, mission, the menu was terrible, was man. Too much. There was, there was too much going on. I've yeah. got to go to this bit to get to that <laughs> bit, but then I've got to join this game. But I've yep. got to join this specific game, otherwise yep. I'm joining a random online person's game. But the yep. game didn't really <laughs> wasn't very clear in telling me how to get into private lobbies with friends or how to get into public lobbies or how to even yeah. do like solo games. You know what I mean? It was yeah, yeah, very, yeah. very clunky. And I'm just hoping they fix that with this game. And then well, it looks it very smooth more. and the graphics are well improved. Like, yeah, really, really nice. So we're definitely going to have to give this a try. Oh, we um, will. We will. I'm definitely down for this, especially if it's going to be, you know, what what was the old four player? Look, there you go. It's four people. Yeah. So four player co op. You know, if it's four player co op again, great. Let's we'll, we'll jump in with the whole party and, and we'll give it a spin. 100%. Definitely. 100%. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Um, after payday two, and that's going to be, haha, <laughs> Hellblade, two. I'll let you give most of this because I didn't even play Hellblade one. Hellblade one was a very good game very good game the atmosphere the uh the acoustics the way they used the 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 the, the um the lighting with the audio and the voices and they feel like they're all surrounding you and this game you cannot play this game without wearing headphones 100 percent. you have to wear headphones with this game now what really pissed me off about this is the same 
issue that we had about the, f- the the first party games at the start of the showcase, which was Fable. CGI crap or quote in game content. I don't want to see any non gameplay. Show me gameplay. Like just show me only gameplay. We don't want to see look, this is rubbish. I don't want to see this. This is nonsense. Like if this is gameplay, great. But she's walking. She's not this showing I'll give anything. you, right? But I'll agree with you on every part, but this this bit here, possibly gameplay. No, she's it walking. is gameplay. No, 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 listen. It is know, gameplay. It's like The Last of Us, though, you know what I mean? There was too much walking in some of these games, man. Yeah, but show me gameplay. Show me some action. Show me what she's doing. Show me. Don't just show me a fucking cave with water and a reflections. Like I don't, who wants to see that? And now it's in it. Now we're in a cutscene. Yeah, it transitions smoothly, completely perfect. Yes, great. But like, the gameplay that we saw was her walking fifteen meters. It's rubbish. And the thing is, we saw we saw a video of this ages ago, like years ago, and now we're seeing another same you know same type of trailer with no gameplay. Yeah. So again, we're getting the exact same showcase that we got for PlayStation, which was trash, but this one. Which is trash. It's an Xbox show crap. They're showing off all the crap that they have. Literally. They're not showing any anything good here. And again, they the Starfield Direct. By purely doing in-game footage. But all the in-game footage is basically CGI footage. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to Hellblade 2. I'm definitely going to give it a try. Because I really like the first one. Like, really, really like the first one. Um... But yeah, I'm uh, I'm just disappointed again because, you know, everyone's saying that the Xbox showcase was better, but it wasn't. It wasn't any better than PlayStation showcase because the yeah. stuff that they did show was lackluster and they hardly showed anything. Again, we need to separate the two things. The Starfield Direct is not the same as the Xbox showcase. Two completely different things. Separate the two. We need to just establish that because a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they're misconstrued in the idea of, oh, this is this is the great showcase with the Starfield Direct. No, two completely different things. But I think I've said enough on uh, Hellblade 2. So let's uh, move on to the next one, which is the worst game of them all. Fallout 7 E-Crap. As a Bethesda fanboy, I myself have to agree on that front. It's Fallout 76, it, it did something that we wanted as, as members of, you know, the Fallout or the Bethesda fandom, whatever you want to call it. You know, we always did want that multiplayer Fallout, Skyrim, like Elder Scrolls, yep. all that experience. And, you know, we got Elder Scrolls Online, yep. which was their take on, you know, an MMO, which has been it's done. It's it's done well the past few years. Yep. Um, but then, you know, they gave us something a bit more local uh, for Fallout 76, but it just it just didn't hit the spot. It yep. was bad out the gate. It didn't yep. get much better. It took them a long time before they fixed it, fixed a lot of the issues people had with like the NPCs. Like there was none originally. Then they added them. And, you know, they're, you know, they're doing their best they're. through DLC now to, to get to get and this up is what there. Bethesda are known for, right? Bethesda are known for releasing a shitty game at the start, which is completely broken. Yeah. And they have proven. And this is one I hate to admit, it, but it's just true because, you know, I always like to state the facts. Bethesda have a long track record of releasing shitty games at the start and supporting them for a long amount of time after and it becomes a really good game at the end of it but years later at the expense of everyone's trust yeah which is a really bad business model i'm sorry which is why i've always stayed away from the company because i have a sense of control where i'm not going to just be suckered into this type of behavior and and this business management it's just it's trash it's terrible um Let's get the money first, and once we get the money, then we'll fix it after. No, that's disgusting. So this is why I don't support Bethesda in their endeavors of how they're going to market their game and, and sell their games and stuff. Is doo-doo. And the game, the engine needs to be updated because the game looked trash. Like, I'm, like, you can see it now. The graphics are doo-doo. Like, they look like a PS3 game, like a 360 game. Like, genuinely, they do. Yeah. And, and again, it's, the, it's, it's an issue with their engine. They need to upgrade their engine. Like, they need to seriously upgrade their engine because, like, you know, this this game's what? It's got 5,000 people playing on Steam right now when I last checked. Um, like, it's just, that's just not good enough. Do you know what I mean? That's nowhere near good enough. But I'm, I'm not excited for Fallout 76 at all. Like, if you've already got the game and you like it, great. You're probably excited for this. But, like, I feel like they're just supporting a, a dead product at this point now. Like, yeah, with only 5,000 people and, 
and Starfield coming out as well. Like no one's playing Fallout seventy six, even though Starfield is is single player. No one's gonna play this. No one is gonna want to play Fallout seventy six when Starfield is out. Like, come on. Like, I'm the same. Be I, with Fallout seventy six, the thing that missed the mark with me was that they prioritized the multiplayer over the single player experience. For yeah. me, that that's where it killed it. Like when I first got the game, I got the game day one because I'm a yeah. huge, like I said, I'm a huge Bethesda fanboy, and yeah, it just when it didn't have NPCs and then. There was like bugs in the game where you're, you're not supposed to be able to kill people unless you initiate combat with them. Yeah, and I remember that. To, like, yeah. yes, I like, strike people two or three times. But bro, I went on it like <laughs> I missed like a week of playing. I played it like the first day. I had a I had a fun time, but it weren't the best. And then I came back a week later, and there was this guy on the same server as me who was like level somehow like level a hundred in a week, <laughs> and he just he probably went bought. Out with a oh, oh, that's another thing. Sorry, let me just quickly pause it. Um. That was another thing that they'd done. They said they wasn't going to bring in microtransactions when the game released. And then, like, when they re- when they realized that no one was buying the game, they added them back in. So that yeah. pissed me off even more. That's bullshit. Don't support that stuff. But anyway, carry on. Sorry. But that's what happened to me, right? So this guy must have used the microtransactions to get as good as he got yeah. Yeah. in, like, literally, like, a week. And then he just ruined the game for me because <laughs> I went, I loaded into the server. I was in there with, like, loads of new people who were new themselves. And this guy just went round. He stayed by the the opening spawn point, and he just kept using a machete and just chopping everyone up and killing us all. So we couldn't like continue any missions or complete any quests. And then Bullshit. like, I had it for a good couple of weeks where I would join servers and there was guys on there who were like level a hundred and something, <laughs> or eighty and something, and they were just like killing me. And I was like, this is broken because I'm supposed to have to initiate combat with you, or yeah. you're not supposed to be able to kill me. But somehow I don't know if it's game breaking bugs or whatnot, but. They were just allowed to kill you. And then I stopped playing it for yeah. a long time. But then I yeah. went back on it. When NPCs came, I went back on it. I, I stopped playing it. Once I got to like level 20, I, I just stopped playing it. It just weren't interesting anymore. Like they keep adding these DLCs. They can keep adding the fan favorite things. Like they're adding in this new one, Atlantic City. And before they added the pit and they added the Brotherhood of Steel. And yeah. they keep adding these things. But they already ruined it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like. Yep. It's like when, you know, it's like, hey, what do you call it? When someone betrays you, you know, and you lose trust yeah, in someone. you lose the trust. You know, trust is gone. Get that back. And you yep. broke my trust when the game first released. Yep. And I just don't trust you now. You can give me as many DLCs as you want. You no, know, you can be providing DLCs for this as long as GTA Online is providing DLCs. But I'm sorry, our partnership for online games with Ezra is done. Until yep. you can come out with something that start that comes out of the gate as a good game. As, yeah. But don't get me wrong, I am going to Starfield, I'm going to play that, I'm going to get well, that, you know, the next Elder Scrolls, I'll play and I'll get that. But, people can argue, people can argue that the uh, the uh, Elder Scrolls Online is where it's at, because apparently that got good, but we tried to play that, didn't we, as well? And that wasn't great, I didn't really like that. It's it not okay. the best MMO. It's okay, but it it's was... It's okay for an MMO. Again, if, like, do you know why? It, it was clunky. It was clunky. Yeah, it's another clunky That's game. why, exactly. This is the problem with all their games, they're all clunky every single one of them is clunky janky old and outdated man I even back when, when i'm they, you know they have a great studio they have a great set of game creators they have some very creative people but yeah. they i don't know how they just they get these games they get in they get them into their qa section and they just i don't know somehow people are telling them that they're perfect and they're yeah. just like yeah let's release it it's great it's working great yeah it's bad it's really bad really bad but yeah, let's move on to the next one. So as you've probably seen, the next one is Overwatch 2. Now, interestingly enough, we did get confirmation from Blizzard. Again, Blizzard is another company that is just it makes me sick. Like in regards to all the Di- Diablo um, microtransactions and stuff, like $30 for skins and all sorts of foolishness. Anyway, we're not going to get into it. But they originally came out and said we're not going to have any PvE mode for Overwatch 2. But from what we're seeing it looks like there's a lot of pve Coming. so i'm confused at what's actually going on here like are we seeing pve or are we seeing look because this is this is pve stuff right there like what we just saw her throwing that hammer or whatever and bringing yeah. it back story like, mission npc based stuff. yeah yeah so I'm, i don't i don't really understand what's going on here ringing is pve to me but the thing that's confusing right and this is what annoyed me is uh you know, they first announced Overwatch 2 was going to have all this PvE content. Then they yeah. went back on it and went, no, yeah. we're not, we're no longer doing that. You look, know what I mean? And now yeah, it would seem that they've gone back on going back on it and they are doing it. 
all yeah. then and we're misreading it and this is all just PvE. no 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 this is definitely no. pve look at this that's look at that look at all of that so you've got uh what's that three yeah. three players there yeah three. and all of that those, those are enemies those are ai yeah so i don't understand what's going on here this is pve look at that i'm i'm so confused man I'm confused but you know it's blizzard it is what it is I, Look, I, this is what the hell is that like that is definitely pve no, that's like, a new you character ain't... with the players in the game it's all pvp oh okay all right cool Fair <laughs> enough, <then. laughs> i'm joking it's not that's it's definitely pve fam. <laughs> that, that's a boss that's a boss battle right there it that's what i mean it just everything's just screaming yeah it's like scream PvE. PvE for me. this is like this flashpoint mode you know what i mean this is player versus player that looks that this is wicked hero mastery this is wicked that they added i don't even like overwatch it's just not my type of game but this mode right here i love all the trial stuff like in street fire where you've got the combo trials and and all of that stuff like i love all that i think it's so sick how you can truly master the character and they can make levels and design a whole system around how the character is used and and how to use all of their um, perks and abilities and stuff and use it to the maximum to push how good you are with the character and how good the character is do you get what i'm saying like i, I love yeah. all that stuff i think it's so good i think every game should have this type of stuff all of them should have this man because it's just another layer on top of like for example call of duty it's a layer on top of just playing online do you know what i mean like if you had a trial like this and stuff what was the one in call of duty for the original um you had like a Oh, man, if I can get it up, I'll get it up on the screen if I can find it. But you basically, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, you had um, like a shooting range thing. You'd have to go through and like shoot the enemies and stuff. Don't you remember? And you get timed yeah. as well. To be fair, I only ever played Call of Duty games for their multiplayer. I very rarely okay. complete the story mode. Black okay, Ops, I didn't complete a Call of Duty story mode until Black Ops 1. And that was yeah. just, that was so interesting because if you remember Black Ops One, they had you locked in the chair at the in the main menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had to press the L and R two or whatever. And then, out the chair and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. It was really <laughs> interactive, so it made me play it. I used to love yeah, it, man. Yeah, yeah. Turn my console on and be like, "Where's the number station, Mason?" I used to love it, man. <laughs> all right. So the next one that we're gonna jump into is Dylan's favorite climbing simulator. Oh, my favorite is, I just said the game looked beautiful. Yep, it's a climbing simulator. Yeah. So let's just quickly jump back, yeah? So I remember when everyone was hating on Horizon Forbidden West, saying that it was basically a climbing simulator. This game is literally a climbing simulator. So someone's going to have to explain to me now, if this gets good reviews i'm going to be questioning like what the hell is going on because everyone was bringing down the scores of horizon forbidden west because it was a climbing simulator quote unquote climbing simulator yeah but and this is literally a climbing simulator bro and boys you knew they'd never get to play it no no this was this was um you know uh reviewers this is not like maybe they've got some type of um bias uh bias towards a system yeah but like I mean, it looked okay. It looks all right, but it's it's straight up a climbing simulator. Like you can't you can't deny this. Like this is it's so obvious. Like if we if we just move ahead just a little bit, bro. All she's doing is climbing. Like you you don't see anything else. Look, she's climbing. She's climbing in a different location. She's climbing here in a different location. It's climbing simulator, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. I mean, there's a but, lot of climbing going on. I get what you're saying, but it's also a running and a jogging simulator. No, she's climbing. Look. She's climbing. She's she's. What about look, the time when she's not climbing? Bruv, she's she's doing a um a controlled fall. That's what walking is. You're not wrong. <laughs> I for some reason I literally watched the trailer earlier today, and for some reason I thought there was more gameplay than just climbing, and it turns out there wasn't. I'm literally watching it now. And I'm like, no, it's just climbing. Yeah, I mean it's okay, and there's nothing wrong with it. But I just want to state that it's a climbing simulator. Yeah, so anyone who was hate climb. Fall 2020. Yeah, exactly. That's what they done. Yeah, it was it was quite smart uh, marketing there. They said climb and it's coming in in fall 2023. That is fine. Yeah, if you didn't know, walking is basically a controlled fall. So, yeah. Walking is a controlled fall. Yes. At that's all times. At all times, everyone's just falling. Controlled. Yes, you. but it's... Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it is. You're, you're leaning forward. You're, you're physically leaning forward. If you don't put your foot... Hold on. Think about this, yeah? You stand still, right? And you put your foot forward and you lean forward. Now, Are your you foot is there walking, to stop bro? you from falling on the ground. So if you remove your foot, what will happen to you? 
Why are you leaning forward when you're walking? How are you moving forward? You don't lean forward. Fam. You stand straight and your legs just do that. No, like... That's not how it works. That's that go 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 on. Show show, show the people what, what you're supposed to be doing. You stand you there, you're straight, yeah. and your legs yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> This is why Dylan can't walk anywhere. This is the problem because his his legs do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Now, I'm not a fan of Cyberpunk. Again, it's another it's another game that they they took people's trust and they destroyed it. Um. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think we should support this. Now it's up to any. Look, at the end of the day, it's your choice, right? But for me, once you do something like this, this needs to sting you for all time. So you do not get a pass because yeah, this is the problem with the game though. got removed from all the marketplaces, fam. Yeah, it did. But people just, in terms of like the consumers, the consumers need to not like, but have nothing to do with Cyberpunk anymore. To get you you fucked up on release. So now, next time when you release a game, you don't get away with this. Because this is the problem with Bethesda. They re- every single game that they have released has been broken since 1996. Every single, nearly all their games, if not all their games, have been broken. And I posted it on Twitter. And I'm going to put it up on the screen so you can see as well. Because, like, Bethesda, they piss me off. Like, they're, I don't know what it is. But the way that they just take the piss out of consumers and just see them as a money pit makes me sick. To my stomach they, they're very similar to ea not as bad as ea but they're very similar to ea the way they do it because they know their shit is broken they know this and they, they release it like that opinion, by the way i love the desert, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so anyway let's jump into cyberpunk 2077 it looks good the graphics have definitely improved um since the original game we've got idris elba as you can see and one thing that's interesting is this dlc I saw on Steam, it's one of the first games that I've seen that is an SSD only game. So if you have a mechanical drive, you know, a 7200 RPM or something maybe slightly um, uh, quicker than that, or a 54 RPM, which is Jesus Christ, why would you still have that? But if you have a mechanical drive, according to the specs on Steam, you can't play this game. You, You can't play the DLC, sorry. So that's an interesting thing. Now, Insomniac came out before and said, oh, um, we've got a PC port of uh, Ratchet and Clank coming out. And no one thought, or I didn't think anyway, that they were going to make any type of requirement for an SSD only. So it will be interesting now to see what actually happens. Because I've got some thoughts on that, but I'm not going to get into it now because we're talking about Cyberpunk. So Dylan, thoughts on Cyberpunk, please. They enjoyed the game once they fixed yep. it. Yep. Looking forward to the DLC. Mm-hmm. Won't play it immediately, but going to definitely put some time into it eventually. Um, yeah, I think the DLC looks nice. It looks beautiful. It's good to be back in Night City. Um, yeah, and the addition of Idris Elba on top of Keanu Reeves. Can't really complain, to be fair. Um, yeah. Outside of that, like the personal issues, yeah, like with the lack of trust now in the brand due to, you know, what went down at the start. It's a whole different mm-hmm. ball game, but we'll see where we go with this, right? We see where yeah. we go with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, that pretty much segues into the next one, which is this one I'm Revolution, for. which looks like Bioshock. Bioshock Infinite, to be precise. Yeah. So you take it away because I haven't played any of the Bioshock games because I'm just not a fan of first person games. But yeah, take it I away. legit thought this was Bioshock. Like I, before <laughs> I, the name I, I did. I also did. I thought it was going to be the Bioshock. next one. Yeah, I, I genuinely did. Genuinely, I did. I was fully um, convinced this was going to be the next Bioshock game. It was yeah. that the stuff with the trains, the hover train. Well, not hover. They really they run the rail, but the rails above. And yep. I think these this little thing here with the guy walking on the thing. That's interesting. Yeah, this it, game, it looks interesting. I yeah. like the aesthetic, gameplay wise. Not the biggest fan of first person shooter games. Like I'd like to see my characters. Like you spend a lot of time in some of these games investing in, you know. Yep customizing characters and i hate it when they take that away from you by putting it behind but again we don't know what the yep. character customization options are saying here or the weapon customization options are saying we know there is a range of various weapons that all look very good very cool yep. very steampunk yeah um, 
and yeah, the, the world looks good. It's, it's going to have like a very time travel element to yep. do everything. So I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that and seeing how that functions. Seeing if it's a bit like Prince of Persia back in the day, where if you make Ooh. a mistake, you can rewind time and that would be wicked. It. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm yeah. very interested in this game. I'm looking forward to this game. That little, this little bit in the trailer when yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he hey, him in, yeah. <laughs> and he rebuilds this whole thing. Yeah, it's gonna well. be really interesting to see how it all works. It, that that is a bit of Prince of Persia there. And I, do you know what I really love? I love the idea of this um, parallel world or universe. Yeah, as you just saw there where it switches the over. It reminds me of, of the Lords of the Fallen. So the new game that's got my anticipated game, uh, most anticipated game of the year, is very similar to that. I love the idea of having the same world, but completely different way of looking at it. And you, you are part of the same thing. It's so yeah, cool. Like I think it's brilliant to have a, a mechanic in the game in which you could change the past and it forces the future or the story to change as it yeah. goes on. I think that's really good. I'm very much looking forward to this. Very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. And that segues into the next one, which is Forza. Now, this game was my most anticipated game coming from the Microsoft Studios. They showed nothing. I was so disappointed with what they showed here. They showed hardly anything. The trailer was a minute and a half. Like, this is supposed to be a showcase. Like, I'm pretty sure I've already seen more gameplay of the game in the previous reveal from years ago. So, I don't understand. This is, I, I'm, I'm so confused. Yeah, we get to see some customization stuff. Great. But, like, I want to see I want to see racing like I want to see actual racing like look we're not even seeing no racing we're seeing inside the car now now we're seeing some racing like I don't want to see all the extra crap I want to see the racing Do you get what I'm saying I want to see what it looks like I want to yeah. see my actual screen what am I actually going to be seeing not in game footage I don't want to see it I want to see gameplay this is gameplay I want to see this Do you know what I mean I don't want to see that I don't care about that I want to see racing It is disappointing like, uh, What 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 does the uh what does the um story mode look like is there any story mode we've saw, we've seen all these different types of vehicles great but what does that mean does it mean that we're just going to get a checkbox and we just check through all of the stuff that we need to do or is there an actual story mode to it you know what i mean is there a career like we've got nothing we literally got nothing and it's coming out october 10th like you're having a laugh man like you're actually having a laugh that's what i'm saying they, they showed they showed what we wanted but they showed nothing at the same time yeah this is what it felt like it felt like they gave you. I don't know what it is, man. It just, it just didn't, it just didn't work. It, w it wasn't satisfying at all. The graphics all are great, though. Time. What's that? Everything. That's what they showed today at the showcase. It was all at once and everything at the same time. But it was also nothing at the same time. Yeah. Crazy, man. Real, real, real disappointing. Real disappointing. But that will do it for this. Um. Oh, we actually forgot to add in one game and that game is avowed so ah, Dylan, yes avowed got to add in avowed so avowed talk to me about avowed avowed did look incredible i don't know how i forgot that off the list it was just That's so all right. scratch that it just filled my brain I, I i didn't have the memory for it <laughs> so this is your type of game this is right up your alley yeah it's first person that so is that you don't... go back go back Go on. Bro, pause it there. Pause it there. Yeah. That is literally the Ranger from that. Fallout. And the, um, is that Fallout? Oh, what do you call them? Those are these giant wasp creatures from Fallout 76. This is literally from Fallout 76. Okay. So they're paying a tribute to that, yeah? I don't, bro, is this made by Obsidian? Yeah, it is. No wonder. Then. Yeah, that's that's their, yeah. That, that'll be their franchise. Yeah, it's Obsidian. But that's mad. I didn't know this was Obsidian. <laughs> yeah. So oh. it looked it looked okay. Um, I mean, again, it's just like graphics ain't great. World's most powerful console, like not not really seeing the world's most powerful console here. Like I'm just not, do you know what I mean? I'm just not seeing it. So, yeah, I mean, it looks okay. It looks like an RPG, and Obsidian are known for you know their rich, deep storytelling and good quests and stuff. So Obsidian you know, get it right, right? Like one of yeah. the best Fallout games to come out was Obsidian's Fallout uh, uh, New Vegas. Yeah, that well, well, they they I mean, tend to get it right. I mean, they did. Uh, it looks really did, nice. The, the Outer Worlds that was incredible. Um, yeah, like I think I'm very keen to see this because this will be. See, that's the thing, right? Obsidian 
through their link to Bethesda in the past have now are on this weird kind of Bethesda adjacent creation. So they've done Outer Worlds, which I guess you could compare to Starfield. They've done, they did the original Fallout, uh, New Vegas. Um, and now obviously they're making this Avowed, which I guess you could compare to Skyrim and games like that. Yep. So, yeah, so it's, I'm very eager to see how they do the fantasy world now. Yeah, so my only issue with them is so far in the trailer, I've only seen that it's first person. They did the yeah, same. It, with... I think it is only. I think it yeah. is only first person. Yeah. Annoyingly, they did the same with Outer World, and I didn't like that. Like I said, when it comes to RPGs in that man, I have to have my third person. Don't make me invest yeah. all this time in gear and grinding, and you know <laughs> and you can't see your character. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I can't see none of it unless I pause it or I go to a certain menu. Like, yeah, what's the point? What is the point of me in you be making an in-depth character creation for me to spend like 20 minutes on before I start the game, then to have all these customizational objects and weapons and stuff for me to like never see them? Yeah, exactly. What is the point? No, it's no, I agree. Time. I agree, 100%. So that's what I don't like. But again, they make very good games. I looked past it with Outer Worlds and I still had a very good time in first person. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I can look past it with this. Well, you know what? That's one thing that they didn't show was Outer Worlds 2. Like, what happened with that? They were supposed to have shown that, right? And yeah, that I never suppose, got shown. Like, I spoke with the, <laughs> well, I it was rumoured to. Kind of a avowed or out of worlds thing, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. You know why they probably didn't do it? Like I said, they're Bethesda adjacent. So with Starfield okay. being a huge player in this, even got its own Starfield Direct, it makes sense that they then wouldn't show their competitor that's also their own. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Like you wouldn't but, show you wouldn't show Sky the new Skyrim and Avowed alongside each other. Yeah. You should exactly. show Starfield and um Outer Worlds alongside each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially All because right. from what I saw of Starfield, it's gonna smash it out of the box. Well, we'll see. Don't get too excited. <laughs> I'm, but, I'm pretty gassed. I'm pre gassed. <laughs> But I think that'll do it for this video. Um, we are going to go over the Starfield Direct. So we're going to talk about that. We've got our notes down. So we're going to quickly run through that. Um, so hopefully you like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that goodness. Um, spread the video as well. If you do like the video, we are trying to grow. So it will definitely will help us growing. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Deuce.